This is the new HP 250G9 and it's ready to do almost anything everywhere. It has super fast drive and cool processor. These laptops have become very popular in recent months for home and office use. Basically, it's a formal solution for students and professionals who want to spend most of their productive time on the web and want a responsive laptop for editing documents. Today, I'm going to review this G9 and show you its power, interesting features and what could possibly go wrong if you try to use it for everything in the office space. Now, are you going to go ahead and have those TPS reports for us this afternoon? Let's come back another time. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna start this review with a quick unboxing. This box maybe look very modest on outside, but when you look inside, you will quickly find out there is a good reason for that. It has massive manual instructions inside, but otherwise nothing more than charging adapter and laptop. Which might be a surprise to some of the people who bought an expensive phone recently. This year G9 has gotten even more powerful thanks to the 12th generation processors that seems much faster. It is loaded with good hardware for Intel iCore series processors, faster M2 drive, and it has one free slot for easy upgrade. The laptop also has quiet cooling and good cable. Now, the 250 has notoriously subtle styling for G series, but with just quick glance, you can tell that it's built economical and ecological in a few ways. For example, its chassis is outfitted with shell with smooth silver finish that is very effective to hide plastic. And yes, we cannot forget to mention the beautiful chrome logo on the laptop slit and bottom bezel. It is sturdily built and the base is considerably tougher in comparison with G8. During the test pressure applied to the bezels and deck, it was without a creak sounds, but it's still sensitive to scratches, so watch out if you like to use it for a coffee table. When I first opened G9 Lead, one of the first things I noticed was the buttons have easy visible symbols. The keyboard design is otherwise similar to G8, thankfully it's still responsive and offers cozy typing experience with deep key travel and clicky buttons. The touchpad is on the other hand small, with external buttons and can be boring for lazy touch users, but when you get used to it, it works fine. The next interesting items are on the sides. You will find that HP G9 has decent amount of inputs. On the left we have USB, HDMI and combo audio jack. What isn't here is on the other side. So two more USB and charging port. And there is also card reader on the edge. As expected, it has support for fast Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. The 15.6 inch TN screen covers less than 16% of color gamut and it's dimmer according to light meter tests around 220 nits which is enough for comfortable use in a bright room. But if you want to work outside then you will need to find a nice spot in the shade. The Full HD screen resolution is sufficiently sharp. It's great for office and web use, but viewing angles could be better if HP just decided to use IPS instead of TN screen technology. So if you want more 
accurate colors and better viewing angles, then it's best to go with IPS screen G9 version. On the top of the screen is a HD webcam with mic. Its video quality is suitable for video calls, but not much more than that. For anything more serious, I would use a Full HD or 4K cam. In day-to-day -day use, the Intel processor handles web and office apps just fine, as well as multitasking, editing and processing. It could be used for low or medium settings gaming if you go with GeForce MX graphics, but the basic model has only Intel graphics, which is ok for simple web games or older PC games. Cooling wise, HP supplied a stellar fan solution for cooling the processor. During our heat test, which consists of running videos and playing games, the temperature did not go to the destructible levels. But fan sound can become noticeable occasionally when you play some games on the highest settings. In terms of upgradability, you can very easily upgrade two slots of DDR4 RAM or replace M2 drive. There is even a 2.5 inch drive bay, but sadly without any connectors to the motherboard. The battery is above average and can last from 5 to 10 hours with screen brightness around 50% and balanced processor settings. So you are going to get more if you just browse or edit in comparison with watching videos or gaming. And now we're gonna test the sound. G9 has a standard pair of speakers below keyboard. You will quickly notice their mid-range tones were reproduced equally and convincingly. They are loud enough for clear voices and background music. Bass is expectedly very shy and as you increase the volume closer to the max, the distortion becomes more noticeable. As long as you don't try to overdrive them with too many explosions, they will work fine. It's worth to mention that they are still loud enough to fill an average room and you can always quickly upgrade sound with external speakers. The HP 250G9 doesn't have any luxurious experience, but it still offers a fast processor and comfortable keyboard is also a strong point. It's reliable and quiet, you can expect much more from that. On the other hand, it doesn't have an impressive screen and the speakers are average at the best. Aside from that, you have a lot of ports, an easy RAM upgrade is welcome. So, if you really want a new faster laptop, it's easy to recommend it and for the price, it is a solid home and office laptop that will keep up the most workflows on the go. If you're still not sure, check out TechWatcher ASUS review, it is a competitive alternative. Thank you for watching and see you soon.